Maystone United 2, Barnet 2, 4 3 win on penalties. Dean, into the semi final. How are you feeling after that one? Delighted. Uh, you can see our supporters there, how happy they are. So, a lot of smiles on Barnet faces this evening. Um, the way the game went, to be honest with you, they sort of scored with their first shot on our goal after 15 minutes. We had several corners, several entries in the box. Um, and didn't make it count, and uh, that was sort of frustrating. And I thought first half, realistically, with the opportunities we had, we should have been three, four, five, and we never did that. We showed good character to come back from one nil down, but there's always drama in the cup. And to be fair to Maidstone, they come out second half and asked a lot, a lot of questions of us, which we stood up to. Apart from obviously the penalty we give away was a little bit naive, sloppy, a little bit immature, to be totally honest with you. And then um, it's gone to penalties. And to be fair to our lads, they've done brilliant with the penalties. Um, but I want to congratulate Cork and Laurie because they've done their research on their penalties. And every every, every uh, position they went, sort of with the penalties, the side they picked uh, is what the research showed. So they've done their work, the two lads, so they deserve massive credit. It was a great, great penalty save at the end. What does, into the semi final, what does that mean for you, this group, and this club? Yeah, look, listen, you know, we've torn the football club around. It's been a transformation in the last, well, since I sort of took over as, as manager. Um, we managed to keep the club out of relegation in, the, in our first year. We're into our second year, and really, I think we're miles ahead of, you know, in progress ways. I think we're a good 18 months ahead of where we should be. So, we want to sustain that. We want to keep that. But this division's relentless. In the, you know, we've come here today, and you see Maidstone fighting for their lives. There's a lot on at stake in this game as well for them too. So, we just can't take anybody lightly. Um, and we don't look too far ahead. I've got to be honest with you. Recruitment wise, I always sort of look six months ahead. But when it comes to uh, the game day and matches, we just look at the next game. So enjoy this evening, like I always say to you. And then uh, that's important. Uh, debrief the game for the players on Monday. We'll watch it back tonight as a staff and tomorrow. And then we move on to Yeovil on Tuesday night. Uh, we now play Saturday, Tuesday for the rest of the season, apart from the week of the 21st in between Notts County and, uh, and Wheelstone games. So. We are stretched. We picked up another injury today with, with, uh, with Smudger. But he's back on the 3Gs because we played in the 3G Tuesday night. He's a big loss for us and we've got some big players out. So we're going to have to look at things seriously um, and we need to sort of strengthen our squad if we can. You mentioned about recruitment before before the kickoff. Uh, Jordan Cropper signed for us on a one month loan. How good was he today? I thought his debut was excellent, wasn't it? He never put a foot wrong all day. Um, very reliable player. He's a player I've watched when well, he caught me eye last year when we played Grimsby. Um, super reliable. Um, I spoke to Horsty about a month ago originally, uh, Grimsby manager, and then obviously when he got back fully fit, um, we decided to make a move for him. And obviously in that department, sort of right side of centre back and right back, we're missing key players. So um, with Danny being out, uh, Dom Revan being out, and Ben Winter being out. So I thought. All in all, his debut was excellent. He's obviously got that weapon of a troll, which is just so hard to deal with. So that gives us something different. Um, but I thought his distribution was good. I thought his angles were good defensively. And uh, I thought it was a really, really solid debut. Another name that caught the eye on the team sheet, David Moyo coming in today. Got a goal. Terrific performance from him today. Yeah, they're my favourite goals. Uh, it's something I spoke to David and uh, and Smudger and Nicky. We walked on it sort of on... on uh, towards the and Friday, being in the six yard box, which to me is the kill zone. So, um, great little poacher's goal, um, exactly what we walked on, and he's gone. And I thought he, he walked his socks off, um, like he did a scun top away. That was, a, that was a good performance from him as well. So, he did a very good, reliable job for the team. So, full credit to him. And finally, over 400 Barnet fans in that away end today, in full voice throughout. What's your message to them tonight? Yeah, it's special for them. Um, you know, they drove us forward, they drove us forward in the penalties. You know, obviously where the penalties are taken, we've got air supporters one side, you've got the mates on supporters the other, but you know, I hope they really enjoyed our weekend and uh, we've got a semi final to look forward to. So but the biggest thing for us is we've got to get our feet back on the back firmly on the ground and, and focus on Tuesday night and get move on to Yeovil and hopefully they can come again on Tuesday night and push us forward again. Dean, congratulations, thank you for your time.